So hello learners, welcome to the IITM student community channel. Today we will be solving the IITM graded assignments and subscribe us and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates. So now let's begin. Hey everyone, so now let's start the week 5 graded assignment. So the first question is that the marks obtained by Kartika, Rumi and Farzana in quiz 1, quiz 2 and in end semester are shown in this table. That in quiz 1, Kartika obtained 40, quiz 2 Kartika obtained 50 and in end semester she obtained 60. Similarly, Rumi obtained 50, for, yeah it's 20, 50 and 50 and Farzana obtained 30, 40 and 70. Then if x percent, sorry it's x1 percent of quiz 1 and x2 percent of quiz 2 and x3 percent of end semester is taken to calculate the total marks T1, T2 and T3 of Kartika, Rumi and Farzana respectively then choose the correct option. So here four options are given. That's four or five. So now let's have a look at the options. Yeah, it's here. Option one is this. Option two is this. Yeah. So now let's have a look at the answers. So here's the marks obtained by Kartika, Rumi and Farzana in their quiz 1, quiz 2 and in semesters are given in a table. And we have to calculate the x1% of quiz 1, x2% of quiz 2 and x3% of in semester is taken to calculate the total marks. Now T1 is denoted by Kartika, T2 is Rumi and T3 is Farzana. So we have T1, X1, X2, X3 is equals to 1 upon 100 into 40 x1 50 x2 plus 60 x3 similarly for t2 we have t2 into x1 x2 x3 is equals to 1 upon 100 20 x1 plus 50 x2 plus 50 x3 then we have t3 x1 x2 x3 is equals to 1 upon 100 30 x1 plus 40 x2 plus 70 x3 then we have our opinion 1 is right and opinion 2 is wrong as opinion 1 has written that here in this it is written that t2 into x1 x2 x3 is equals to 1 upon 100 to 20 x1 plus 50 x2 plus 50 x3 but from the question we have in our option number 2 that is the second opinion given by the question that t2 is equals to uh, sorry t2 into x1 x2 x3 is equals to 1 upon 100 40 x1 plus 20 x2 plus 30 x3 whereas t2 is given in our first one is 20 x1 plus 50 x2 plus 50 x3 so we can easily fi find out that here for Romy that is t2 is equals to 1 upon 100 into 40 x1 yeah it's 20 x1 plus 50 x2 plus 50 x3 so our first option is correct and second one is wrong. Then if you take x1 as 20% and x2 as 20% and x3 as 60% then now let's calculate t1, t2 and t3 with respect to this 20, 20%, 20% and 60%. So t1 into x2, x1, x3 will be, we'll put the value of x1 as 20%, x2 as 20% and x3 as 60%. Now we have 1 upon 100 into 40 into 20 plus 50 into 20 plus 60 into 60. So by solving that we have 54 and similarly we put that uh, with the equations that uh, sorry uh, with the options that has given. So the option number 3 is wrong and option number 4 is right that the opinion given by the question number uh, the opinion third is wrong and the opinion 4 is right. Yeah here is given opinion option number 3 is x1 is equals to 20% x2 20% and x3 is 60% then t1 is equals to 44 similarly here it is given that t2 is equals to 54 and we have got the answer t t1 is equals to 54 so the option number fourth is right and option number third is wrong now let's have a look at t2 with the same process by 2020 60 we have our t2 is equals to 1 upon 100 into 20 into 20 plus 15 into 20 plus 15 into 60 then we have t2 is equals to 44 and t3 is by the same process we'll find t3 then we have uh, 1 upon 100 into 30 into 20 plus 40 into 20 and 70 into 60 that is equals to 56. And here by the marks obtained that is T1 will be uh, 54, T2 will be 44 and T3 will be 56. We have now seen that T3 is the maximum and so Farzana obtained the highest total marks. 
Farzana has the highest total marks that is 56. So here we have this option is also correct that Farzana has the highest total marks. And now let's solve the last option given. The T i is equal belongs to R q belongs to R where i is equals to 1, 2 or 3 are linear because T i that is x1, x2 and sorry x1, y1 and z1 plus x2, y2, z2 is equals to T i into x1, y1, z1 plus T i into x2, y2, z2 and T i of x1, y1 and z1 will equals to T i of x1, y1 and z1 if yeah so here is the second question that a molecule of carbon dioxide CO2 consists of one carbon atom and two oxygen atom a molecule of water consists of two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom whereas a molecule of oxygen consists of two oxygen atom one molecule of glucose consists six atom uh, of carbon atoms and 12 atoms of hydrogen and six atoms of carbon in the presence of sunlight the leaves of tree can take carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose and oxygen the chemical equation corresponding to this chemical reaction is given below that is x1co2 plus x2h2o tends to x3c6h12o6 plus x4co2 in order to balance the chemical equation we have to choose x1 x2 x3 and x4 such that both sides have the number of carbon atoms same on each side the same number of hydrogen atom on each side and the same number of oxygen atom on the each side so now an example of the system of linear equation is obtained for balancing chemical equation the equation is that x1c plus x2 yeah it's x2o tends to x3co2 and the corresponding system of linear equation is x1 equals to x3 and x2 is equals to 2x3 now let's have a look at the options given the first one is that the nullity of matrix corresponding to this system is 1 nullity of matrix corresponding to this system is 2 or this is a basis of null space of the matrix corresponding to this system or this is the basis of null, spo null space of matrix corresponding to this system and then we have this is a basis of null space of the matrix corresponding to this system or this will be the matrix the basis of the null space of matrix corresponding to this system then we have there are infinity infinitely many ways to balance the chemical equation R so now let's have the answer so the chemical equation given is uh, this one x1 co2 plus x2 h2o tends to x3 c6 h12 o6 plus x4 co2 for this equation to be balanced we want x1 is equals to 6 x3 2 x is equal plus x2 is equals to 6 x3 plus 2 x4 and x2 will be that's x2 will be 2 x2 plus 12 x3 this is the equation for carbon atom this will be the equation for oxygen atom and this is for hydrogen atom so that is x1 minus 6x3 is equals to 0 if we put 6x3 here then we have x1 minus 6x3 is equals to 0 similarly for this equation if we put this one uh, by changing the side we have 2x1 plus x2 minus 6x3 minus 2x4 is equals to 0 then similarly for this yeah let's first uh, solve this one yeah so we have x2 x2 minus 6x3 is equals to 0 in this equation of hydrogen atom if we divide 12 upon by with 2 we have x2 minus 6x3 for at first we'll change we'll divide 12 by then we'll change the side of x3 so we have by dividing 2 uh, 12 with we have 6x3 yeah it is it will be 6x3 then we'll change the side of x3 so we have x2 minus 6x3 is equals to 0 then the system is of the matrix of the form ax is equals to 0 so we have this matrix with 4 row, uh, yeah it's 3 rows and 4 column or then we have this x1 x2 x3 and x4 that is equals to 0 0 0 and 0 then we'll solve this matrix as at first we'll multiply r1 with 2 the raw 1 with 2 and then we'll subtract raw 1 from raw 2 then for this we'll first multi uh, yeah we'll just divide raw 2 from raw 3 then we have this the, re, the row echelon form is obtained by dividing R3 by minus 12 in the last matrix. Okay, so this will be the matrix. 
and here x1 x2 and x3 are dependent and x4 is a free variable thus nullity of matrix is 1 so the opinion option number 1 that is opinion number 1 is right and ax is equals to 0 then from raw echelon uh, yeah, yeah it's a raw reduced echelon form x1 is equals to x4 so x2 is equals to x4 then we have x3 is equals to x4 upon 6 for this one it it is a basis for all the null space of a that is 6 6 1 and 6 is a basis for all the null space of a that is the true for option number 3 and since the x4 is a free variable so it can it can take any positive value and hence there are infinitely many ways to balance the equation that is equation number r so uh, that is given in option number 2 that is true Thank you.